Look at these beautiful clouds. These are the types of clouds that you only see after a big storm. There's a rainbow. So remember when I told you yesterday that the pond was filling up quick? Well, she hasn't been this full since before summer. And what's amazing is it's so full that it's spilling over and we have our own little rapids. Right there. We even have our own little dirt bubbles. That's gross. And this water stinks so bad. You can see our property line between us and the neighbors. And this area over here, oh, there's my big finger, is a dry creek. So it's usually, there's usually no water there at all. But you can see where it's just full everywhere. Scout, you look like a mud puppy. Have you been running around in the mud all day? <laughs> you almost look embarrassed, buddy. But you guys, what do you think about all this water? Huh? Goats don't usually like water very much. What do you think of it, Watson? Huh? You're starting to look like a big boy all grown up. Yeah. What about you guys? So here's another view up here at the top of the hill where the goats are. Like, there's usually not this much water anywhere. Scout easy. Don't knock me down. Look at all that. Like, it's just flowing from everywhere. It's just insane how much water has come through here since yesterday. Like, this was not flooded at all last night when we left. Let's go check the other creek and see what it looks like. Just water running from everywhere. Yeah, there's our orchard. They've about killed it, which is fine. We can't take it with us to the new house. So we're just gonna build another one. But look at this, you can see how much rain we've gotten. Like there's just little carved out water areas everywhere. Here is the other dry creek area. And you can see it's not dry anymore. Matt came down here today and tied a rope around the nets because we're about to probably lose them in this section right here. So yeah, that's amazing. So yeah, this is usually dry. There's nothing. So this is gonna be a lot of cleanup. So one of the reasons that we're having so much trouble is um, because of all the new construction that they're doing next door to us where they're putting in the 146 new houses. They've gone in and they have taken out all of the trees and all of the grass and they've changed the way that the land lays because just from moving dirt. So there's nothing to retain that water. Now, yes, we've gotten a lot of rain in the last couple of days, but that's not helping. And so we're going to keep dealing with things like this, um, either until they get it figured out over on their end, or they can hit houses up. We're not really sure, but this is one of the reasons that why we went ahead and bought our new house. Um, we just don't want to deal with it anymore. Scott, I don't think you know what to think about all of it. Are you okay, buddy? Hmm? It's a lot of water, huh? Yeah. You're all right. Look at that face. So you're all right. How about you, bud? Do you know what to do with all of it? Come on, Frank. Now, oh, in case you didn't know, a lot of goats don't like water, <laughs> and mine are some of them. They don't know what to think about it. We do have a, an actual creek that runs through town and run, runs through our property. 
And I don't know, let's see, if you can see it. Yep, there it is. Where you can see the water running. There's usually a trickle of water through there. It's not usually very deep and it certainly doesn't flow that quickly. So there's a lot of water going through there right now. I mean, to be honest, this is kind of cool. I'm not really that mad about it and it would kind of be cool if it did this all of the time but it doesn't and we're not used to it but it's still really pretty according to my father-in-law's rain gauge we got a little over three inches of rain today we'll go see what matt's rain gauge says did you all stay in here where it was safe and dry yeah. no you didn't you got out yeah. today yeah the neighbors called and said you guys were out so you guys did not stay put no ma'ams you've already been fed i'm not feeding you again no thank you let's go look at the water down in your pasture just look at that sky though it is gorgeous we're supposed to get more storms possibly until seven o'clock tonight and it's starting to rain again here's the same view i showed you of the pond yesterday totally full now nothing like a chicken sleeping in your tomatoes so this is the little creek that feeds our pond from the area over there where they're clearing. And on the other side of that is a beaver dam. And I'm wondering if the beaver dam broke. Let's see if we can zoom in a little. So right there, you can see how the water is like spilling over. I wonder, I don't guess it's broken, but it's definitely full. You can see how quickly that water is rushing through. So it's bent this fence. It's completely taken it off of the uh, pole right there. So we're gonna have to fix that. Goodness gracious. You always hear about the destruction that water can cause, but you don't really realize it until you see it. And it isn't even big destruction. I mean, it's just little things, but it's just crazy to look at it like this. So don't get me wrong, I am very thankful for the weather and I'm thankful for the rain. We have needed it. It's been so dry. The thing is, is that I'm the slow rain kind of girl. I didn't expect us to get an entire year's worth of rain in like three days. But here we are. So whatever's going on with the weather, it can kind of chill out for a little while. But as long as my family and my animals are safe and everybody around us, I guess I'm okay with it frog just jumped in and Linus was going to go get him. <laughs> Linus, it was a frog. Leave him alone. Come on, let's go. Come on. Surprisingly, this fence is held up pretty well. So that's good. One less fence to, to fix. Hi, chicken. So according to Matt's rain gauge, we got a little bit more water than his dad said, almost three and a half inches. That's a lot of rain, y'all. The chicken agrees. All right, do you see these ducks? These ducks, the three of them that are out there, if they're the same ones that come back every year, they're wild ducks that we hatched and that one of our uh, ducks that sadly has passed on, she became their mom. And so these three ducks come back to our pond every single year. It's two boys and a girl, and they come back all the time. So we're happy to see them when they show up. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the rain's starting again. So I probably better get home. I hope you guys have a safe night. Our favorite chicken fluff butt was on top of the car. She was getting ready to roost. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You need to go get in a safe place. Night's coming. All right, bye girl.